Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jazz. And first, before we get into, you know, good the meats of the video, let's remember our little deal, the little contract that you signed about liking and commenting and subscribing. I just want to make sure you do that because like if you don't, the video might be a little glitchy for you. So I strongly suggest you do that first because you might miss some like parts of the video if you don't. <clears throat> now anyways, I wanted to talk to you guys about five things I've learned from wearing wigs. This is a new like thing for me. I've always done like weaves and I've had braid, like I've had it all, but I've never done a wig. So it, it's, it's hard, it's frustrating. I didn't think I could do it. And like here I am actually buying wigs and wearing them now. And I just want you guys to feel like you can do the same and not feel like, you know, you're worried about it looking bad and whatnot. Cause like you can literally do exactly what I'm doing. First, you can do it, okay? This isn't like, I know there's so many tutorials on Instagram and like other YouTube videos where you see people doing this complicated stuff, cutting the lace to make it look like it's from their skin and like gluing shit down and doesn't move like, <clears throat> there are simpler ways to do it and whichever way works for you you need to figure it out and you need to do that okay that's what I did I found a way that works for me and that's what I'm doing I don't need to do the extra stuff because I don't need to like if I want to do that later I'll do it but like <clears throat> those are like professionals and I'm not a professional and I'm okay with that like I don't have to be a professional I just I'm doing this for fun and like to look cute and to change up my style okay so you can do it number two there are ways to make the wigs look blendable and with wigs with lace you can easily do that just by adding foundation to your part up here making some little baby hairs which you can find tutorials on it's so it's like super easy um but there are ways to make your wigs blend whether it's synthetic or not numero tres you pay for what you get Obviously, the more you pay for a wig, the better quality it's going to be. The less you pay, the lower quality. Also, synthetic wigs are less expensive, and you can't do much to style it. I do not, I repeat, I do not recommend putting heat on synthetic hair because it's going to ruin the hair. Like, they say up to this degree, whatever, just don't do it. It's going to ruin the hair. Okay, that was three. Numero cuatro, number four. Number four. Be confident. Use, you know, try out different colors. Try out do new styles. That's what wigs are for. It's like for one thing to protect your hair, but also for you to venture out and just do something different. Do a different color. Do curly hair. Do, you know, whatever your little heart desires. Don't be afraid to venture out and be yourself, okay? Okay. Number five, to keep your wigs clean, you can use alcohol to rub off the glue <clears throat> or the gel that you use. Um, it'll take it right off, but keep it clean. Wash it like you would wash your hair. There's so many videos out there on how to wash wigs. I also posted a video on how I wash mine. But um, yeah, wash your wig like you would wash your hair. If it's looking like not as fresh as it used to, wash it and I guarantee you it's going to look how it did before. I hope this video made you guys want to go out and get away, and I hope that you do. Um, let me know if you do. Send me a picture or something on Instagram. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Subscribe to me because you love me, because you like me. Okay? And good luck on your wig journey. Bye. See you soon.